Hey, tickets are on sale for our tour across Europe, New Zealand, Australia, and Asia! To prepare, I'm brushing up on some different languages. Ooh. For example, how do you say Wiener Schnitzel in German? It's Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> We're coming to Edinburgh, Manchester, London, Dublin, Amsterdam, Hamburg, Copenhagen, Malmo, Stockholm, Helsinki, Melbourne, Brisbane, Sydney, Auckland, Christchurch, Seoul, Singapore, and Tokyo! <laughs> Get your tickets at GameGrumps. <laughs> GameGrumps.com slash live. <coughs> How do you say I need a doctor in Swiss? Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> I'm gonna poop on you, 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 poop on you, I'm gonna poop on you. Different. <laughs> <laughs> Something a little different. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to Game Grumps. So, um, it is our last day of recording before the Christmas break. Uh, we have recorded what feels like many thousands of episodes in a row and we're super exhausted and we came into the office and we were like can we just like talk about ice cream okay <laughs> and yeah and so here we are oh and then, and then Aaron dropped his phone it was crazy alright we're talking about ice cream here we're talking about that Freaking store box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone just looked at the clock and noticed it hadn't quite been a minute yet. <laughs> I ain't talking about that store brand ice, freaking watery ass iced creme. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about milk, sugar, uh, other stuff. That's exactly what's in store bought ice exactly. cream. Exactly. No, I'm not talking about fucking store-bought ice cream. All right, all right, okay. <laughs> nice. No, store-bought ice cream is a bunch of chemicals and shit. I'm talking about that Blue Bunny. I'm talking about that Briars. <laughs> I'm talking about that milk, sugar, ice. I used to work at an ice cream store. That was my first, uh, my first job. Well, then you will know vanilla. Shout out to Emac and Bolios. In Short Hills, New Jersey. That sounds delicious. It you doesn't, should take me there. It doesn't exist. It okay. hasn't existed in like 25 right, years. I'm sorry. But I, I loved it. I loved it. Well, man, someday. Yeah. There's a place. Someday. Yeah. I mean, it, we'll go back. <laughs> we'll, we'll set up a business. Yeah, we'll, go, we'll have time machines at some point. Oh, I would love that. All right, vanilla. Dude, can I just say real quick what? about time machines? Yeah. Like, I would love to go back in time and like... And just experience a bunch of different things. And for anyone who's like, uh, dude, you'll mess up the time stream and change everything. I'd be like, yeah, fucking cares. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Mess up the time stream. <laughs> I want three legs. I'm going to be president. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Well, vanilla. Um, that's S tier for me. Really? Yeah, vanilla's that's top fucking tier, baby. Vanilla, that, you, you can't be vanilla. Like you just can't. Period. There are other. Every other ice cream is vying for second place against vanilla. It's the classic. It's the template. It's it's you. You can put anything on it. It's and in in ancient days, vanilla used to be like the luxury flavor because vanilla beans were so rare. You had to import them from. Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Vanillas. Vanillaville. Yeah. So I say vanilla's S tier. C. Are you serious? No. <laughs> I like it. Uh I would put it in like A or B. It's it I always preferred chocolate. Oh my god, we're gonna fucking we're gonna, okay. Are we gonna fight? Are we gonna fight over like within the first three minutes of this? I'm gonna stab you in the foot. I mean you can put it in S, obviously it's a it classic. S. Rocky yeah. Road. Yeah. Every every now and then, it happens about twice a tier list. Yeah. Where you're just like, fuck you. I'm, <laughs> I'm Jesus. I'm taking the wheel. I'm not Jesus. I did say that once, though. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky Re Road. Refresh my memory what, what Rocky Road is. Uh, Rocky Road is chocolate. I believe it has uh, marshmallows. Marshmallows, yeah. And, like, chunks of... Oreo? Nuts. 
chunks of nuts. Does it have nut chunks? Um, I am looking it up right now. All right. Um, but I do, I do distinctly remember the taste of it. Uh, and it's funny that I can't conjure that. I think it has nuts. Conj- yes. Yeah? Ma- yeah. Ma- uh, well, chocolate kind of- ice cream, nuts, and marshmallows. Does it specify which kind of nuts? Probably almonds. Almonds? Well, that sounds great. Let's I, A or B. Uh, I don't... Yeah. Yeah. I'm good with that. Yeah. B. Plus Weird Al did a song about it. Maybe, maybe, uh, it's somewhere in the middle for me, so you pick it, buddy. I put it in B. B! Okay. <laughs> Peanut butter, baby. I'm I'm not that into it. Really? Yeah, probably a C. I think, okay, here's my opinion on this. Please. I don't think peanut butter ice cream is good, but that's not true. I really love peanut butter ice cream. I'm just kidding. It's an A. For me or B. Wow. I'll go B because you don't like it. Okay, cool. I think, okay, what I was going to say, though, Mm -hmm. before I realized I was wrong, (laughs) is, uh, like, peanut butter swirls. If you just put peanut butter in ice cream, Uh really delicious. Oh, interesting. You get little chunks of that. I really like peanut butter, and I really like ice cream. And yet the idea of a crossover, like, it's like, I really like Batman, and I really like Superman. But Batman versus Superman? Eh. (laughs) (laughs) Superman wins. How much prep time does Batman have? How much prep time does Peanut Butter have? <laughs> <laughs> um, if uh, uh, Halo Top, one of their best flavors is peanut butter. Interesting. Halo Top is a very low calorie ice cream that's super high in protein. Wow, it's awesome. Do you use it because you're getting jacked now for your boxing match? Yeah, it's like a meal replacement kind of. Oh, nice. Well, uh, you would know. It's p- pistachio. Pistachio. I have a weird, like, nostalgia thing for, because when I was a kid, in the 80s, chocolate, vanilla, pistachio were, like, the three, and I feel like that changed over time. Like, strawberry oh, yeah. moved in, yeah. kind of took its place. Strawberry definitely moved in. Yeah, and now now I feel like, you don't hear much about pistachio, but it, it, it was the jam for for a time. I really like pistachio. It was like the mysterious green flavor. I was like, mm, green. I I would go as far to say that it's A tier. Really? Yep, I think it's really really good. Okay. Let's do it then. Yeah, you agree? I, I can't remember what it tastes like. It tastes like fucking pistachio. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> you, you know what I will nutty. say? My favorite type of uh ice cream is not on this list. Really? Yeah, green tea. Oh, matcha. I, I I love green tea ice cream, and uh, it's not there. What is there is birthday cake, which is gross. Birthday cake, I'm probably going to put in C or D. Uh, okay. I, I, listen, Gasps of horror from Allie's side of the listen, room. I was <laughs> obsessed with birthday cake when I was young. The last three times I've had it, it's been, I, I can't even stomach it. It's way too sweet. It's just overwhelming. I like sprinkles. I like a, I like a good sprank. Um, Sprinkles are great. It's it's mostly it's it's, it's really the same thing as peanut butter. Like, it would just make me want to eat cake rather than ice cream. You C-tier. know what I mean? Yeah. Fair enough. Cheesecake ice cream. Uh, not my thing personally. Not my thing either. See. Okay. Eggnog. I mean, I just had eggnog for the first time. First time. Within the, take it easy. What was it? How'd you do? <laughs> Well, I'm, you know, I'm Jewish, never really had Christmas before. Sure, 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 sure. Um, but now uh, I am I'm married into a Christian family. What do you think? I enjoy it. Yeah, boy! I, I, I think it's quite good. Oh, yeah! Yeah. Put a little fucking dark rum in that <laughs> shit. Dog! All right. Ooh! All right. And then you sprinkle a little nutmeg on top? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, give me a break. Shit's delicious. A tier for me. Wow, all right. Yeah, eggnog's great. Wow. Eggnog ice cream, exactly as great. I feel like our friendship was on the line, depending on what I said about eggnog I right there. I probably would have been really mad at you. Okay. To be honest. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> cherry? Uh, I love cherry flavor, but not like that. I'm not used to do it either. Yeah, like if it was a snow cone, cherry all the way. Yeah, but that's fake cherry. That's exactly. not real cherry. Right. This is, this is real cherry. This is ice cream. Water, milk, bread, sugar, bread, <laughs> and cherry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for me. See? Water, milk, sugar, <laughs> fish, <laughs> uh, <laughs> cherries, cherries, <laughs> and milk. Peppermint. 
Um, I'm not huge in. Well, no, no, no. Actually, I like peppermint. I like peppermint too, but I it wouldn't be my first choice as an ice cream flavor. No way. Where? Bruh. Bruh. Dude, anything peppermint flavored is delicious. I I love dude, you saw me eating a raw candy cane oh, yesterday. Love that, shit. love that shit. Have you ever dude, have mm. you gotten into this new like white chocolate ch- uh uh candy cane flavored like Girardelli slash like Hershey Kisses makes like a white chocolate candy cane. They got little flecks of candy cane in it. Well, as a matter of fact, your wonderful wife made a little Christmas basket That's right. for the folks in the office, and it included one of those. So I just had it. And it's fucking delicious. It was excellent. Yeah, boy! <laughs> That's what this shit tastes like. Is that right? Yeah. All right. Well, well then, see. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I'd say this is an A or B for me. Yeah, throw it at it's, A. It's a solid B and like a floating A. Okay, cool. So I'll go A. Bubblegum? Complicated relationship with bubble. I agree. Because uh, <laughs> I'm 100 percent with you there. Oh God! <laughs> you just dropped something for the second time. I'm sorry. I got butterfingers, dude. Yeah, you, uh, you weren't holding either one. You're just very <laughs> excited about ice cream. Um, so I've probably told this story on Game Grumps before, Uh-oh. which is a shame because it's not an exciting story. Oh no. Um. Oh no. No, we we just there was a an ice cream place that my family went to when we would come out to California when I was a kid and it was the only place I'd ever seen bubblegum ice cream and that color blue is pretty much my favorite color and I thought it was amazing looking you know you look down into like all the buckets of ice cream and like there was a it's blue so one bright. I was like oh awesome and then finally one day I got it and I was like look I see everyone look how blue this is and I ate it and I was like mm, it's not that good <laughs> but so I mean Color-wise, it's beautiful um, as a work of art. Taste-wise, not really. It's fun to go like, nip, and then that's it. Mm-hmm. But do you have to eat a whole ice cream of it? Can't do it. So it's I would go much. B. B? Yeah, just because like aesthetically it's so pleasing to wow, me. Wow, okay. Fair enough. Rum raisin. Not my thing, really. Really? Yeah. I like, I like raisins, but by themselves. I don't like raisins and chocolate, like raisinettes and stuff. Oh. I, I don't like, I know, I know, we're different. It's so tasty. I know. Raisins are like, mamma mia, spicy meatball. (laughs) (laughs) Raisins are like spicy meatball? Yeah, it's like, baby, (laughs) give me some more raisins. Uh, So you you do your thing. I do like it, and you don't like it, so I say we go B. Sure. Center, middle of the road. All right. Mint. Chip. Mint chip is straight up S for me. Shit's fucking delicious, dog. Yeah. Like, all I, right. I feel like it's pretty unanimous across the board. Everybody likes mint chip. And we did when we did Game Grumps Live, one of uh, one of the questions that we sometimes ask, favorite ice cream. Oh yeah. Mint chip was I'd say the most popular. A lot of a lot yep. A lot of people said mint chip ice cream they like and uh cookie dough. N- and Knuckles is the sonic character that they would sleep with. <laughs> Well, don't give away the whole show. Well, I mean, it's just, <laughs> I mean, that's just what they said, you know? <laughs> they said, th- th- there are multiple, multiple people said there would be good aftercare in that situation. <laughs> Brownie batter. Yeah. <laughs> um, very good. Uh, w- with these types of chocolate ice creams where there's like a little extra chocolate on chocolate, mm-hmm. I always wish it was just the regular chocolate. Yeah. 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 So it, 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 it just like a slight markdown for that, but other than that, A. I mean, can't really go wrong. A. Wow. I, I'll give you A. Would you put Would you put it in B? I'm off of chocolate now, man. I don't like chocolate ice cream. Just across the board, I don't like it. You better put chocolate in S tier when we, it, it's time comes around, or else, I mean, I'll meet you in the parking lot and I'm gonna fucking kiss uh, you, dude. I'll give it to you, <laughs> and that's fine. We can do that also. But the bra- I just it's so much. It's so much. It's like one spoonful of brownie batter, and I'm just like, oh. Yes, yes. I just I get agree. like a headache. I agree. It's about A tier, sure. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon custard. Um. Yo, this shit slaps, dog. All right, take it easy. Yeah. Well, fucking. First of all, custard. Yes. I mean, that's a different kind of. That's a. That's using higher milk fats or some shit, which is delicious. It's like fucking gelato, dog. I like to believe that there was something in the way I said um that 
indicated to you I was going to um, say I, I'm not way into it. So you just got really loud and aggressive <laughs> in your love for it to drown me out. <laughs> That's what it felt like. What do you feel? Probably C or B. Oh, dude, lemon <laughs> custard is a fucking A across the board. Shit's delicious, it refreshing. Can't be across the board. I just said I don't like it, so I'm part of the board. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not that I don't like it. it, it it's it's good. All of these are pretty good. I fucking mean, gorgeous. It, okay, we're, I'm fine with it being an A. Okay. Good God, peach. <laughs> peach is another one. I'd rather I'd rather just eat a peach. I'm with you. See, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Coffee, that's Co D for me. Co wow, interesting. Uh, I don't like coffee. I used to not like it, and now I'm drinking one right now. Uh, thanks, Al. <laughs> um, so I would say B, probably. Wow, I'll put it in B for you. Cool, thanks, man. But that would be my first D. Hmm. <laughs> it wouldn't be your first D. <laughs> the truth! <laughs> Please pull it out! What? It hurts! Okay. Dreamsicle. Dreamsicle. I don't even know what this is. What? Aaron, stop yelling at me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you never had a fucking dreamsicle? What is it? You never had one of those fucking popsicles, the orange, and it's like a creamsicle? Never had a creamsicle? I've had a creamsicle. That's, yeah. what, that's what it is. I, exact same thing? Yeah, it's the same flavor. Oh, okay. Like the orange sherbet yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like more milky. More, more sickly. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I should have said more dreamy. Well, because sherbet's like really icy and yes. and fruity. Yes. But dreamsicle is it's an ice cream, so it's it's a lot milkier. Well, I like the color. It's a nice color. <laughs> yeah, I I, I, I think know. it's really I think a tier for, for really? dreamsicle. Yeah, man. I mean, that's just like if somebody's got that and they're like, it's just yeah, yeah. Throw, throw it up there because mm -hmm. I shouldn't. I, I haven't had enough. Mango. Mango, same problem as peach. You'd just rather have a mango? Yeah, yeah. I feel like mango's a bit of an underdog. I feel like mango is often overlooked. Um, people, I think people think they get it. Mm -hmm. You know, they're like, ah, I get it. It's not really what I want right now. But, like, mango as a flavor, I feel like, is pretty awesome. Uh, like, across the board. Okay. <laughs> Super Everything duper. that's mango flavored, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it in B too. B is fine. You wanted to put it in C. I have no problem with it being in B. Okay. Neapolitan. Neapolitan, man, like that's pretty nostalgic too. Opening up like the container of briars, like ice cream, and seeing the yeah. three. And also, um, I love astronaut ice cream. Oh, it's always Neapolitan. People think I'm insane. No, that's just good. I think it's so good. Like, I would just, whenever I go to museums, I'll get it and I'll have to be like, oh, it's for my nephews. And then I f get outside and I'm like, <laughs> 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 it's gone before I get to the car. I mean, it's, the problem is it's like fucking $25 per little thing. Or something, you know, <laughs> yeah. like it's ridiculous. Yeah. So that if, if, they, if it was affordable and they just like sold it at fucking um, at checkout of Target or some shit, I'd be mm -hmm. like, hell yeah, I'll just grab a little astronaut ice cream. Yeah. But every time you get it, it's like in a specialty store and it's like 17 bucks. And you're yeah, like, oh, it's the novelty you. of it. And the knowledge that if you got shot into space, you could bring it with you. You could. That's worth its weight. I think so. Of course, it's weightless, but... <laughs> <laughs> Um, Neapolitan, okay. Yes. I when we had it as a kid, if if I if we had it in the freezer, which was very rare, mm -hmm. I, it was the fucking the vanilla was just like scooped out. Yes, every every family has the the it's third that's gone immediately. Yeah. Chocolate in my house was you had to be fast. So I'm not strawberry. I'm not a huge fan of. You'll find out later. Um, but spoiler, I, I feel like it really just ruins the whole, the whole situation. When, when you get a Neapolitan, do you try desperately not to mix the flavors? I don't get a Neapolitan. I don't. But like in the it. past, like, I um, don't mix the flavor. What do you mean? Like, for me with my OCD, the worst possible scenario was when all that was left was like the little sections where there's crossover of flavor. And I'm just like uh, sweating, like, oh, I can't, they can't touch. Oh, so you have to like, you have to get a scoop of vanilla, a scoop of strawberry, and then a scoop of chocolate. Exactly. I see. Um, no, I just went for it. Okay, cool. 
I just don't, it's a C for me, man. Wow. Interesting. What about you? I mean, it's just funny that we're going to put two of those in A, in a or S tier and then them dude, together. I, dude, it fucking muddies the waters, dude. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. You've, okay. You've, I, I think, I think, um, what do I think? Eggnog, S tier, just as a drink. But if somebody peed in it, that's just one ingredient. Absolutely. Then it'd be D tier. It'd be eggnog with piss in it. <laughs> wow, you, you you really put it in terms that I could understand. <laughs> eggnog, delicious. Yep. Dark rum, delicious. Put it together, even more delicious. <laughs> Add in P, D tier. <laughs> Moose tracks. <laughs> Moose tracks. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's kind of like a rocky road. It's it's vanilla, but it has like little chunks of chocolate in it, and I believe it also has chunks of nuts. Oh, okay. I'll I'll just look that up real yeah. quick. Yeah. That sounds pretty decent. Uh, yes, it's fine. You, you, Moose tracks ice cream on Google can know what my location is for some <laughs> reason. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Except all cookies. Uh, oh, it also has peanut butter in it, apparently. Oh, that that's interesting. That actually downgrades it for me um, uh, a little bit. Can you fucking just give me... Okay, Moose Tracks Wikipedia. God, that was like way down the fucking thing. <laughs> uh, the original Moose Tracks product description is as follows. Vanilla ice cream with peanut butter cups and famous Moose Tracks fudge. All right. All right. Interesting. So no nuts. Okay. Little chunks of peanut butter. Uh, I'm I'm way into it. I like it a lot. It sounds it sounds pretty good. It's I've, above Rocky Road for me. That's for sure. Oh well, then put it put it in A, I guess. Oh shit. But um, you don't feel that way, eh? No, well, I've I've never had it. Oh okay. Yeah, I'm. I, I love this shit. Have you ever seen that video where the woman and her husband are getting married in um like a national park, and the camera pans over? Across like this beautiful scenic river, and a bear is murdering a moose, <laughs> <laughs> and it cuts back, and the priest is like, "Well, <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that." Before. It's I mean, it, it's kind of sad. You feel bad for the moose, but that's nature. That's nature, man. Beer. Be <laughs> I don't know. I've never even knew there was a beer flavored ice cream. It sounds like it'd be really good. Does it? Well, because it's in the same category, right? It's like. Uh, it just feels like it'd go together, you know. I guess I've never liked the taste of beer. I'm not a. I'm not really a drinker. I, I didn't for a long time. Mm. I and I still. Yeah, no, beer's good. I like beer. It's just it's too much. Yeah, it's too heavy. I just I remember thinking like when I was a younger like and I had my first beer. I was like, this is what people are so hyped about. It, <laughs> it tastes like fucking dirt water. <laughs> but then I mean, I know there's beer aficionados. In the audience, like, you have to try Elephant from Denmark. Like, I know some <laughs> beers are great. I'm sure they are. It, it's just... I don't like a whole lot of art, artisanal beers. Yeah, it's not really my thing. Um, uh, it's too but, rich. Yeah, like, for me, the the purpose of it would be to get the buzz. And it here you're just not even getting that. Might as know? well just have a little whiskey. Yeah. my favorite, My favorite alcohol of all time. Might as well just cut up a cut up a few lines of powdered sugar. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And sniff it. <laughs> and mix it with cocaine. And deject it. Uh, I don't know. I probably a C or D. Yeah, I'll just put it in C because I never had it. Okay. Blue Moon. I don't know what it is. I don't know either, but I did look it up. Hold on. Oh, really? Yes. Let's see. Um, it's been described as Smurf Blue, marshmallow sweet. Oh, it tastes like marshmallow. Um. Blue Moon is found mainly in the Midwest. God, just tell me what it is. <laughs> is it in Wikipedia? Yeah. Characteristics. Um, varieties that have a distinct berry or vanilla flavor notes are sometimes theorized to have been originally flavored with castorium. Just fucking tell me what flavor it is! <laughs> uh, a similar flavor has been sold in both Italy and Malta under the name Puffo, which is Italy for Smurf, uh, which is Italian for Smurf. <laughs> As it's blue. It's very blue. <laughs> as well as in Germany, under the name Schlumpf. <laughs> <laughs> What's the flavor? It's blue. <laughs> uh, it just tells me 
what Holy it looks shit. like. Shit! Oh my god! All right. What all flavor right. is Blue Moon ice cream? Yeah. Raspberry flavoring, lemon oil, and vanilla. Yuck! Provide don't the like base it. of the flavor. No, not me. Not for me. But it's blue. It's here. Okay. Chocolate. That's got to be A. Oh, a. How, how? I mean, C, uh, S. Sorry, I was thinking, like in school. Because for me, it would probably be between. It'd probably be B. Honestly. I don't really like chocolate ice cream. Well, you can do for me what I did for you. I'm with doing. Vanilla. I'm, I'm giving a test. Yeah, it's got to be I'm giving a test. It's got to be. What the fuck is Superman? <laughs> That's insane looking. Uh, let's find out. Yeah. Superman. Apparently, ice cream. I'm look. I'm still looking at the Blue Moon thing. Blue Moon is one of the flavors used in Superman. Really? Yes. Holy shit. Holy shit indeed, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Many of the traditional versions call for Blue Moon as the blue component of the swirl. Um, blue Moon has a hard-to-place flavor. <laughs> I guess that's why it was hard to find. <laughs> uh, list of common brand flavor combinations. Red Pop, Blue Moon Cherry, and Lemon or Vanilla, usually. Is what the flavor is. All right. So it's just a lot of shit. I, I think that would be too much for me. I think so too. I, sp speaking as someone who notoriously removes each ingredient of his sandwich so he can eat them individually. Uh, yeah, that's fucking weird. I know. I know. Just kidding. I'm sure a lot of people do it. My brother. My brother likes separated food textures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just like and the flavors too. Like if I can't concentrate on what flavor it is, I don't like it as much. But that's the whole just fucking ratatouille. It's like a symphony. You get, you get the little swirl, and then you get the pop, and then you get the, like, explosion. Yes, I know the cartoon movie with the rat chef has <laughs> that. <laughs> Cotton candy. <laughs> Cotton candy. Not my thing at all. I'd put it in B. Okay. I feel like it's kind of fun. Like, it's 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 really sweet, like like all these, like, super sweet flavors, like birthday cake and shit. Mm -hmm. But there's something a little more fun about it. I don't know. All right. I don't know what to say about that. No, I mean, if you like it, we're good. We have no D tier. Yeah, well, ice cream's fucking delicious. Ice cream is good. <laughs> I guess, yeah, if you're going to say, like, rate these amazing ice cream flavors, it's possible. If if I had to pick one... Wait, save it. What? Oh, right. oh you mean that that we've already gone through? Yeah. Uh-huh. For, for, for D tier? Mm hmm It would probably be... No, we'll save it. We'll save okay, it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, black raspberry. I like black raspberry. You do? Mm hmm. What would you put it in? Uh, A or B? I put it in B. Great. I don't like it. Great. I just don't, I don't know. It's we too, agree. It's too strong. It's, I'll, I will say it's better as uh, sorbet than ice cream. In, I don't, in, yeah. in, in I am HO. I'm not a sorbet guy. I'm going to be honest. My opinion is so humble that I have to use the initials. <laughs> Can't I even say the H -O. words. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Deliberately, oh. <laughs> uh, coconut. Coconut would be my first day. Whoa! I, I, don't, I, I don't like the taste, the flavor, anything. Even coconut water, I'm like... <laughs> um, yeah, so you, feel free to put it higher. I love coconut flavor. Great. I, it's just, it's, oh man, it's just great. And people need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> people? <laughs> <laughs> Not anyone in particular. <laughs> you know, oh, but you know what? Just for um, I, no, can't, I no, can't bear to put no, it in D. It's don't, so good. Don't. Coconut's so good. Don't. Especially if you get that like toasted coconut flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh man, shit's so fucking delicious. Mm. Which it looks like as they try to emulate here because I got the little toasties. God. Coconut ice cream and you were both hanging off a cliff and I could only save one. <laughs> but I have a real tough choice on my hands. <laughs> uh, okay, ra raspberry ripple. I don't know what that is. Raspberry. I don't know either. I don't like it. It's too sour. Uh, let's put it in C. C. Grape. Grape sounds weird for an ice cream flavor. I've never had grape ice cream either. That's got to be strange. I I think so, but maybe it's awesome. It's well, I'm assuming it tastes like the fake grape. It doesn't taste like real grape. <sighs> I don't know. Grape ice cream. Grape Skittles flavor. taste like the fake fake grape too, and that's awesome. Yeah, the real reason you can never find grape ice cream. Whoa! What? There's a whole article about why grape ice cream isn't a thing. Well, I beg to differ. Here's why grape ice cream isn't a thing. What the fuck? Tell me. Why can't you find grape ice cream? What is this? 
Is this a trick? I don't know. I don't think there is a grape ice cream. Uh, there's an unusual rumor that... Okay, hold on, hold on. This is... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. When you get a chunk of fruit and what would be grape ice cream, chances are it would be very hard. But grape ice cream is not altogether mythical. It has been made. Not easy to find. Not only because it's challenging to make, because grapes are 84% water, but also because it isn't a particularly pleasing idea to most people, okay? Apparently, there was a rumor that the FDA banned grape ice cream, but it's not true. It just comes from the difficulty of making flavorful grape ice cream. Listen, I don't have time for controversy. Like, <laughs> let's just put it in D and move on with our lives. All right. It doesn't even exist. Cookies and cream. <laughs> cookies and cream. Co- cookies and cream is fucking, that's some S tier shit right there. That is very classic. I-, I don't know what to tell you, man. Well, what do you think of chocolate chip? Uh, that's probably S tier too. Okay, cool. And chocolate chip cookie dough? That's S tier. Okay, great. All right, let's put all those in S tier then. Wow. I was, I, I just wanted to like, I was like, I'll allow cookies and cream if we can bring, it was, it was like a, like a prisoner swap. <laughs> 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 if these two could come with it. <laughs> cool. Okay. Strawberry. Well, well, what do you? Why do you feel so? You feel really strongly about these two? Oh yeah, they're amazing. Chocolate chip cookie dough is like I'd I'd put it in triple S tier if I could. Yeah, v- vanilla vanilla ice cream I think is very good, um, and but like we were saying, like I wouldn't put it in S tier personally, but throwing in chocolate chips and then throwing in fucking cookie dough pieces like that really kicks it to a whole new stratosphere. I. I don't know if this is true. I don't think that the ice cream in chocolate chip cookie dough is vanilla. Huh. I think it might be slightly flavored in some way. Interesting. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's a vanilla base, but yeah, I think, I don't know. Well, I don't know, because, fuck, that's a good question. Let's find out. <laughs> I, need to, I need to know. Well, because vanilla is a, it's a flavor, right? What People, the hell did we do before phones? I can't even remember. Did we just... We just argued. Decide not to know anything? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, well, I mean, is the and ice. now with access to the internet, we have all the misinformation at our fingertips we could ever want. <laughs> is the ice cream and chocolate chip cookie dough vanilla? Unbaked chunks of in vanilla flavored ice cream. Okay. So it is. That's the, it's, that's that's the thing that I always I've gotten into several arguments throughout my life where people think that vanilla is like a default flavor. No, vanilla is a flavor. It's a fucking bean. They put it in the th- it, default is milk flavored ice cream. Vanilla is a flavor. So fuck off everybody who thinks it's the default and use it as the oh the fucking vanilla World of Warcraft. It's like fuck you. Vanilla is not the base. You don't put vanilla in chocolate ice cream and then put the chocolate in. You don't start with vanilla ice cream, you just go straight to chocolate. I don't like the way you made eye contact with me <laughs> during that. <laughs> Whoever you had that argument with is not in this room right now. <laughs> it's like if you make mango ice cream, you just go straight with the mango. You don't put vanilla in the mango ice cream. That's ridiculous. <laughs> you fucking weirdos. Oh, man. Anyway, strawberry. I, I love your passion. Thank you. Um, strawberry is very good, in my opinion. I'm not a huge fan. Yeah, I, I got that from earlier. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, uh... You know what? You know what? I'll say this. What's that? I do think that the strawberry makes the Neapolitan worse. Strawberry on its own mm-hmm. isn't as bad. Yeah, if someone br- just brought you strawberry ice cream, you'd be like, cool. I think. I don't know. I mean, it certainly was... It's growing on me. I, I would put it in B. Yeah. But I do agree with you. It was the bronze medal winner in the Neapolitan yes. Olympic pedestal. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> cool. Uh, butter pecan. Definitely not for me. What? Okay, I'm so- I would put it in S tier. I didn't say it was shit. I just said it's not for me. You are crazy. I Your don't- taste buds need to be examined by a medical professional. <laughs> Butter pecan is fucking delicious. Wow. That shit slaps. <laughs> <laughs> I like to, I hope people at home imagine when you, that you made the slapping noise, it was actually you slapping me across the face <laughs> instead of just clapping your hands together. No, give me, give me like a, ah, so we can like layer it on top. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Um, you feel free to put it wherever you want, man. Dude, that's that's so fucking S tier. Far be it from me to get in the way of your deep passions. There was a time where I would just that, that was it, man. If I I would search for it and then I'd be like butter pecan, take it. That's that's it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> nice butter pecan. Nice uh, Reese's, Reese's peanut, peanut butter, butter cup. cup. Um, that that's good. Like, there's nothing not to like there. Um, wouldn't be my first choice. Maybe maybe B, maybe an A. Uh, probably B. I'd go A. Okay, cool. But I'll put it in B just because there's been a lot of, you know. So <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> um. All right. So this tier list looks like we're shooting the bird sideways. You know, like fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. Or like it's yeah, it's like an upside down like finger guns. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um. How do you feel? Yeah, so two questions. Okay. Well, three questions, actually, because mm-hmm. the third question is just the final question. Yeah. First question, is there anything that you would put in D? Um, maybe cheesecake, maybe beer. I'm with you on cheesecake. I'm going to put it in D. Okay. I don't know what Blue Moon is. Yeah, I feel like that doesn't count. Superman looks terrifying. But we haven't had those. Right, right, right. Um... Yeah, that's I'm, probably I'm it. I'm happy with this. Yeah, I, I, grape and maybe cake. birthday cake, but I don't want Allie to come over here and strangle me. So. Ca- no, you know what? I'm with you. I'm actually with you. No, Aaron, birthday cake solidarity. She just gave me such a look. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. Like I said, man, I was so into it when I was able to stomach it, but now it's just it hurts my little tum tum. I can't do that to that's, myself. That's, li- that's your problem, not the birthday cakes. The flavor is not at fault here, the fla- okay? No, it gives me a headache when I, I eat I it. Like, okay, so does MSG to some people. My favorite part of that was you trying to say that you don't like it now that you're an adult, <laughs> but you use my little tum-tum as <laughs> <laughs> the descriptor. Well, what else is it? <laughs> that's what I call it, Dan. You're right, okay. All right, second question. Yes. And you, you can just answer this from like a now perspective. Sure. You are offered all of these flavors right now. Which one would you pick? Oh, man. Either mint chip or cookie dough. Or maybe just regular chocolate. They're, they're, those are amazing. I'd go cookie dough. Cookie dough's a winner. Yeah, a, right An absolute now, winner. I'd go cookie dough. Yeah. Uh, especially if, like, um, the, the, the consistency is right, where, like, the cookie dough... Chunks are like slightly soft, and you're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like co- if you put chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream in the microwave for like five seconds, then you're in for quite a treat. You're a fucking madman, bro. Um, y- you can't. I'm like the jonkler. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then third question: yes. Are there any changes? <sighs> Anything you're second guessing? It looks pretty decent to me. M- maybe. Maybe my nostalgia for what bubblegum ice cream looked like. Maybe put it a little high. <laughs> it could probably go C. Yeah? Yeah. I'll, I'll be with you on that one. But, I, well, you know what? Cause I Wait, put, put, hot- put it next to Blue Moon and Superman so the three crazy triplets can party in Vegas together. <laughs> Look at them together. I will say this about bubblegum. Mm-hmm. Um, I said cotton candy is a B, not a C, because it's fun. Yes. Bubblegum is also fun. Bubblegum is fun. I feel like it's got a fun... It's, it's a it, good time. Um, there is one thing I will remark. There is a flavor that is not that doesn't exist anymore. Um, there, there's a place in LA that used to be a food truck, and now they have a place in Pasadena called Cool House, mm. spelled H A U S. Yes, I remember this. I think they sell their their cookie sand. They were famous for their they fresh baked cookies, and then they'd put their homemade ice cream in it. Yes, cookie sandwiches. I think they sell those in stores now. Um, I think you brought Cool House into the office one time. Maybe. You can buy pints. Yeah. Um, but they had a, a flavor that would show up every so often that was called Dad's Secret Stash. <laughs> yes. And yes. it had it had M&Ms in it. It had marshmallows in it. Um, I think it had one other thing in it. But it also had rum in it. And that shit is my favorite ice cream flavor of all time. Well, dad needs a little something to take the edge off. Lost my mind at that flavor. Yeah. So fucking good. 
I can't get any more. I'm so pissed. <laughs> and, it, and, and it's not just that the toppings and everything are good. It's that their ice cream is fucking awesome. The Pasadena it's, one doesn't have it? No. Wow. It's so smooth because it's homemade like, mm-hmm. like, you know, like a couple days ago. Like it's incredible. Yeah. So that um, would be triple S tier for me is dad's secret stash. Was Cool House the one that would like give you ice cream on a giant cookie? Yeah. Yeah, that was them. That, yeah. that was them, yeah. Um, they were good. Can I end this on like a poignant note? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I I had a friend named Jo. Uh, she was Australian. I haven't. I wonder what happened to her. I haven't talked to her in like twenty years. But lovely person, and um, she uh, was a caretaker for this really old lady. She she did hospice care yeah. for like people at the very end of their lives. So she would hang out with them and talk to them. And uh, she asked a woman who was uh, very, very old. I haven't thought of this story in a while, so, but I think she was over 100. And um, Joe asked her if, uh, if she had any regrets, like what she was thinking. And the woman uh, apparently told her, I wish I'd eaten more chocolate ice cream. And I was like, man, <laughs> that, is, that is deep. And... Uh, I, I was like, wow, that's really what it comes down to sometimes. Like, it's the little things. I will say ice cream is, it's one of those things where you can really just slow down and like, this is, this, I'm, I'm happy right now. Yeah. I'm just eating an ice cream. So if, uh, if you're, if you're feeling it out there and you're not lactose intolerant. <laughs> oh, I'm super lactose intolerant. Okay, well, take the pill then and go get yourself an ice cream. Sometimes I just, I'll just endure the fart. Treat yourself. Yeah, but others have to endure it as well. Well, you know, say la vie. <laughs> that's not. It's <laughs> not a cool th- time to use it. When in Rome. <laughs> All right. See you later, everyone. Bye. Oh, oh, oh! I'm gonna fucking poop on you. I'm gonna 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 poop on you. Poop on you. I'm gonna poop on you. Different. <laughs> <laughs> something a little different